Hello everybody, welcome back to Art by the Lake. Today we, uh, we're going to make up for lost time. We haven't been around for a while and we're going to do uh, drinking with uh, or painting with craft beer. So today's beer is Founders All Day IPA from Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's a nice sessionable IPA. We've not mixed the beer and the paint this time. Um, I think that worked out well last time, but we're not going to do it this time. People have been asking, where have you been? Because we haven't done a video in most of the month of July. We've been traveling. Uh, in fact, the painting today will be inspired by one of our locations, which was the Grand Canyon, north rim of the Grand Canyon. Um, and we're going to do a drag today. Uh, inspired by the north rim of the Grand Canyon. We've been traveling, hiking in the desert in Arizona and Utah for the last two plus weeks. Um, we're getting ready to go to the beach in another three or four weeks, so maybe we'll have some inspiration down there. We're going to do an unusual kind of drag today. As you can see, I have already painted um, the top half of this painting uh, with a little bit of a, a sun and a sky. And it's my intent that I'm going to take the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors and drag them up. So much of the sky and sun will probably be covered. Um, we're not literally trying to paint the Grand Canyon, but uh, we're using some of the colors that are inspired by the Grand Canyon. We're not going to do a straight up stripes across the canvas and then drag. We're going to do some stripes, some dark colors at the base. Um, but we're going to do some spotty colors uh, because that's kind of what the canyon looks like. But before we do any of that, we should open the beer. If you've never had Founders All Day IPA, you're missing out. If you like hoppy beers, this is a good one. And uh, if you like drinking all day, which it's Saturday night happy hour here at the lake, but uh, if you like drinking all day or long extended periods of time, this one is 4.7% alcohol and 40 IBU. Sorry, 42 IBU. That's an uh, international bittering units and it's a measurement of how hoppy or how bitter the beer is. So I'm going to start with black at the bottom, work my way up. I've got some gold, I've got some tannish yellow, I've got some reddish brown, I've got some sort of chocolate brown. I've got a purplish brown, I've got a deep brown that almost looks black, and then I've got black. Um, if you've ever been to the Grand Canyon, you'll know that a lot of these colors are prominent um, in the Grand Canyon. So today, we're going to start with black, we're going to work our way around, we're going to see how it goes. Instead of leveling the painting, I have the painting tipped a little bit toward this side. That way we can retain some of the sky up here. I'm also going to try to pull the drag off. Uh, and I may use the straw to blow some of it around and we'll just see how that all goes. If you like any of these, uh, check us out. We are mostly on eBay at Art by the Lake. But please follow us on YouTube. If you're watching us now, you're on your, our YouTube channel. Please follow us on YouTube and tell your friends. If you like what you see or you have any suggestions or naming suggestions, please let me know. Um, but we are mostly on eBay because uh, it, there just isn't, isn't enough traffic on Etsy. Uh, we get thousands and thousands of views and lots of sales on eBay and hundreds of views and only a few sales on Etsy. So we are mostly at Art by the Lake on, uh, on eBay. You can also find me at artbythelake at gmail.com if you want to email me. So I've talked enough, right? Let's start making a mess. So I'm going to start the bottom with just a little bit of black and I probably will come back. And the black in this one sort of represents the shadows at the base of the canyon. If you've ever been to the north rim of the Grand Canyon or the south rim of the Grand Canyon, you know that at different times of day it changes colors and it's deep and dark down in the bottom. I have put uh, my usual recipe here, two parts flow trawl, one part distilled water, one part paint. I've mixed all my own colors, so um, usually my hands are a mess doing that. I've washed my hands, but and this is something you can certainly do. And you'll see I'm going to reserve some of these colors. 
and use them spotty, use them different ways later. We like this color a lot, so I made a lot of it, and this is sort of one that you probably will see be pretty prominent in this painting. You want to do some sort of columns because that's kind of how the Grand Canyon ends up looking. So we're going to do this a little bit spottier than a traditional drag. I may have to patch and fill in some of the gaps. We'll see. And no worries if you're saying like, oh my God, there's too much white space. Um, no worries. You wait and see how much color drags up into that blue. I almost don't want to touch the blue because I know that it will pull these colors up. So you can see it's fairly random. I'm not really uh, knocking myself out with some of this. I do want it to end in light colors. So I probably will pour um, the gold and the, the, uh, the yellow last here. You can see the red is going nuts. This reddish color um, is going nuts. You can see we've lost some of our black. That's probably because of the way I leaned the canvas. So I know what you're thinking. I didn't make enough paint, but that's not true. We'll be fine. I will add, probably at the last minute, some black to the bottom just to give us some base colors and some of these dark colors I'd like to appear in here, but I'm not really sure how they're going to behave. I know you're thinking the same thing that I might be thinking in that, uh-oh, it's not going to work, but there's no way to go really wrong here, right? Do what makes you happy. Have fun with it. Okay, I'm going to do the black here. I'm going to take a sip of beer. And then I'm going to do the drag. So, fasten your seat belts. You may have noticed we're not doing a time lapse in this one. This one doesn't change a lot. Talk more about that in a minute. So let's lay our paper towel down. It's a wet paper towel. That's what I traditionally use. I think we've got everything we need here and away we go. So not bad, pretty close to what we wanted. Um, I'm going to fix up some of the areas here. We'll do a little straw, a little bit of the yellow color, a little bit of the gold color, a little bit of the yellow color. So the Grand Canyon has all sorts of neat peaks and valleys. So I'm going to recreate some of those peaks and valleys a little bit here just by dumping some extra paint. And it'll also help touch up some of these drag spots that didn't take. So what do you think? Does it say Grand Canyon to you or no? I'm going to create some higher spots here. We're going to get the straw out and blow it around. Put some darker color up in here. Grand Canyon has some really neat shadows and dark areas and um, lots of great colors. and So, there's touch-up to do here. 
Like I said, I'm not doing a, uh, a time lapse. So again, this is uh, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, one part distilled water. I have a few drops in some of the lighter colors of coconut milk serum. Um, I'm going to mess around with it and I'll put some photos at the end. There is no time lapse on this one. So I like how it came out. It's pretty interesting. It's a little bit more cellular than maybe I wanted. But again, we are Art by the Lake. Find us on eBay and Etsy. Follow us on YouTube, email us at artbythelake at gmail.com, and thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with some more videos in the next coming weeks.